welcome back to another video. And just as you join me here, Liam is into a fish. B -b 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 Barry Bream, is it? I'll introduce the video in a second. Let's just find out what we got. Oh, don't put me on camera, especially if I've got a bream. Hey! Oh, a chunk, it is a bream, isn't it? Yeah, it's a chunk. Yeah, that is quite a big bream, to be fair. Look at the slime on the line. Oh, that is actually disgusting. There you go. First fish of the day. B -b 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 Barry. <laughs> <laughs> Liam's already caught a fish. There you go. Introducing the, f the video with a fish. But basically, we're on a club water today. I'm still in search of that 20 pounder. Um, the chances of catching one here today are quite slim because even though the stock of this lake aren't very well documented, I don't think there's a big head of 20s in here. Um, there are a few doubles, um, but basically we're using this as a warm-up session for our next trip, which is Big Haze at Todbur. So I'm super excited for that. Please, at the start of this video, I'm gonna mention it now, please like the video and subscribe if you wanna see that video um, where we go up to Todbur and fish Big Haze. I love going up to Todbur, but um, yeah, there we go. I've had a bit of a mare this morning. Everything that could have gone wrong has gone wrong. I haven't snapped off. I haven't lost anything, which is a bonus. But the ground is rock hard and I can't dig my bloody pod in. I couldn't, I couldn't put my bars in, so I got my pod out. Then I couldn't get my pod straight because I haven't used it for ages and it's a bit... I need to upgrade it, really. My casting was all over the place. I couldn't bait up my spot. Oh, I just had an absolute mare. You know when you have those mornings? I had one of those mornings, so... But anyway, I've got both rods out now, both on the same spot, one to the left of the spot, one to the right of the spot. And uh, let's see if we can get a carp. Winter's definitely kicking in. Um, summer finished like literally two weeks ago. And when I left the house this morning, it was like five degrees. We turned up and there was a beautiful like mist across the top of the water. I'll show you now actually, it looks pretty awesome. But it just looked super, super carpy. Also, whilst we're on this note, can I just say, if you have a TikTok account, please go over to the South Coast Angler TikTok and hit that follow button because I'm at 1,100 at the moment followers and I really want to hit 1,500. So please, please, please go and drop me a follow on there. Really appreciate that. Here it is, bream number two. What are you saying, Lee? Small carp. Small carp, oh yeah. That's um, code word for Barry. Oh. It's gonna be over your line in a minute. You best come, yeah, you best come this side. Let me get out of the way for you. Oh, hello. You didn't tell me he had straws. He's only eating straws, isn't he? Don't mind if I do. No, I and he can't stop me because he's got his rod in his head. Whee! A barrier, isn't it? No, this is actually fighting back. Goldfish. <laughs> I reckon it's a flounder. Jack is a flounder, Lee. Gudgeon. <laughs> Roach. Tench. I don't know if there's still tension there. It used to be. That's a carp. Yeah, fair play. The boy's got a carp. Hold him to the camera so he looks massive. Yeah, that's all right. Lovely. <laughs> it's dark, isn't it? <laughs> Let him go upside down. There you go. Liam's had two fish now. Bream and a carp, and I'm still on a blank. Let me show you where the spot is. I don't know what that is floating in the water, but <laughs> it's stood bolt upright like a float. It's not, it's like a stick. I don't know what it is, but it looks a bit odd. Anyway, we are, my spot is over in line with that swim over there. No one ever fishes over that side, so I think I should be all right. I'm about three quarters of the way. Obviously, if someone turns up, I'll have to move, but that's highly unlikely. Um, he says, touch wood. Actually better touch wood now, because when I say that and I don't do it, 
<coughs> there we go. Right, I'm all good. Yeah, I'm about three quarters of the way out. Probably where the edge of that shadow is. And I've just baited up. I've chucked a load of spawns right out around there. And I've got one fish towards that tree. Uh, sorry, one fish. One rod towards that tree. And one just to the right hand of that swim. So I'm fishing both the edges of my spot. But at the moment, it hasn't produced. onion bag happy days it's a nice common it's a nice size common as well I think it might just go double 10 pound 8 lovely common happy days and there we go off to a start first fish on the bank for me 10 pound 8 happy days I thought it would go double it was weird because when I was playing it, I couldn't really tell if it was big or not. It just sort of kited from where I hooked it all the way down to the left-hand margin. And it was hard to sort of know how big it was, really. But, yeah, it put up a decent fight. And um, it's, it's funny because, obviously, this morning I put out spawns of bait on the spot. I was fishing one to the left of the spot, one to the right of the spot. And I wasn't having much luck. And after a couple of hours, Liam was in my swim and we saw one jump to the right of the lily, lily pads. Um a fair way off my spot and Liam said just chuck out a single on top of its head and see if you can I didn't clip up or nothing so I've cast it out and it's landed <laughs> not exactly where it jumped but not a million miles away from it and within five minutes I got dud 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 and it went and that was it so happy days ten pound eight hopefully the first of many it's still early and this is one of the first sessions well actually I think at little haze me and Liam both caught but it's not often that me and Liam both catch, so happy days. Hopefully there's more where that came from. This is a nice little session, really, because there's no pressure on catching a big fish here, because where it's a club water, you've not paid for, like, a day ticket. So you pay your membership, and then you can fish as many times here as you want. That's how it works. But obviously when we go to Big Haze, there's a bit more pressure on, because you know the stamp of fish in there... Are, are, a very like with a decent stab of fish um there's some absolute lumps in there and when you pay your money you sort of expect a good session and if you don't get one you sort of feel a little bit dis disheartened but the the good thing about fishing here at club water where you've paid your money for the year if you come and have a bad session it doesn't matter because you can just come again and again and again until you do have a good session you know and it just it just feels so much more relaxed and I just don't know. It just it just feels like the pressure's off. We were it's quite funny actually. We were sat here a minute ago and there's a golf course over there and someone shouts, four and we look round and literally a, a golf ball hit the tree. We saw it hit the tree and fall down and I thought, oh that's a great shot that is mate. But um Yeah. When it's times like this when things go quiet it's knowing what to do and I'm not sure I'm tempted to stick one in a margin but I'm not sure well this is Liam's swim and Liam's set up he's um I don't know exactly where that right one is, but looking at it, I'm guessing he's out in the middle somewhere. But his left one, he's just cast out now, because he was so, like, eager to try and get it against that bank. And I told him, just aim for those pads over there. So he's just landed one. Just to the right of those pads. The thing is, my, it's focusing on my finger, the camera now, look. Yeah, see where those pads are here? If I can, oh, not there. Here. He's just landed one, just in there. So he's going to walk around there now. He's going to walk over to that swimmer for a 
worse than bait him. Well, he's gone round there and he's baiting up. Hopefully, the hard work pays off. That's the left hand rod there. And he's just baited up his spot. Come on, Lee. I don't know whether to reel it in, if I've got a small bream on there or not. I don't know. I'm going to keep an eye on it and see what happens with it. Right, I think I'm going to pick this up and reel it in because, like Liam just said to me, there's no... that I just threw that out on a single. So it's not like anything's going to be feeding around it. I don't know, I'm tempted to leave it, though. It's been... Something's messing about with it, and it has been for a long time. Ooh. I'm going to bring it in, I think. If a carp was going to have it, it would have had it by now. Well, nothing's kicking back. It feels heavier than the weight, but nothing's kicking back. There could be a tiny bream on it. Something's swimming right there. I think I've got a small fish on. Well, here we go. Big old slab of a bream. Must have been hooked for a good 20 minutes. The bobbin was just going up and down. I decided to reel in, and there he was. Big snotty slimy bream but it's another fish and it's a decent sized bream but he's made everything slimy let's get him back mm. well there you go that is definitely a lesson learned if ever you're fishing and your, your bobbin's constantly going up and down it's probably best to reel in and check because say that fish was probably on there for for a while um, I feel a bit bad. I mean, it went back safe, it swam off, it was fine. But I can't understand because that fish was definitely big enough. I mean, I'm using a two and a half ounce lead. And that fish was easily big enough to be able to pull the lead. So I don't know why, why my bike, well, why it hasn't, it's obviously hooked itself and just stayed still. Um, very interesting, very odd. But the fish has gone back safe and swam off. That's the main thing. But it turned out it was actually quite a decent sized bream. Even though I don't like catching bream, if I'm going to catch them, I'd rather catch them that size than, you know, so. There we go. Liam and I both had one carp, one bream each. Um, let's hope we can catch some more carp. I can't believe the weather. I honestly can't. I mean, we had a heat wave literally a couple of weeks ago. And now it's just so cold at night and that wind is like... Not freezing, but it, it's chilly. It really is cold. To go from as warm as we were to as cold as this, as quickly as this, it's crazy. It really is. Quick update. Liam lost a fish. What happened, Lee? It snapped off. It snapped off. But it didn't, it didn't snap at a knot. The lines just snapped. So on the, rig. on the rig. The line on the rig snapped. And it's a shop bought one. And it's a shop bought one. So... You should get a refund. Still got the receipt. <laughs> um, I just think Evo, it was a pike that bit fruit, but it was like, I swear it was like 25 pound breaking strain. I don't know. The only thing it, 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 that makes sense in my head is it is either a pike or the fish has ran over something sharp in the, in the water and it's just, it's the only thing I can think of really. But um, he was gutted because he reckons it was quite big, but then, Every fish we lose, we always think is big. One of the reasons why we lose them, because they're big, right? Well, I've just heard, heard an alarm go off in the swim to the left of me. Have you got one? Yeah, Liam's got one on. Oh, that was uh, that is the rod that I said when you cast it would do a bite. Oh, it's gone over the top of your other one. Come on, Lee, don't lose this one, mate. This is giving it some misses. 
Well, this fish is definitely fighting back, wandering. Liam has called a catfish. I'm not so sure. It looks like it's got twigs and stuff on it. It's definitely not a barry. Oh, it's wrapped. There's a lily pad wrapped around it. We've not seen it yet. Oh no, it's a, it looks like a carp, mate. Look at this fish. It's a really old mirror. There it is. Beautiful mirror, old school mirror. Let's get him weighed. 17, it's just over 17, I think 17, about 17 and a half, Lee. What a fish, beautiful. And get his breath back. Oh, he's ready to go anyway. There he goes. Look at that. What well on, mate? Happy days. That was the same size as your one at Little Hayes. Get in there. Come on. I can't believe it. The boy's in again. He's teaching me a lesson here. Right arm rod again. It's only been out. He's literally just cast it out. Doesn't feel as big this one. Small. Got yeah, a head shake, it? definitely a carp though. He's in again, the boy. Everything's small now. You've caught that one. You never know. No, I do. If it's small. I suppose you want to add netting it again. I don't know. Actually, it's quite long. He's unstoppable. The boy's on fire. Lee, you better take that coat off, mate. You are burning up. Well, this one's 17 8 as well. <laughs> exactly the same size. We had a mirror and now we got a common. And there he is. 17 8 as well. Happy days. Well done, mate. It's just hit dinner time and somebody told the carp that it's dinner time because Liam is having an absolute field day. What a session as well. He was overdue it and he was so excited because this is his warm up for big A's and he's had two 17 and a half pound carp in half an hour not even like 20 minutes one common one mirror and i'm left here waiting for a bite it's good actually to be fair because it gave me a chance to help him um weigh it take photos and that sort of stuff so that's good but now i'm back in my swim so can my rod go please an hour to go ish sun's going down so hopefully we get another hour or so in liam's down to one rod Pack the other one away. Last chance saloon. This time I'm going to make sure I do end the vlog whilst I'm here. Just packed everything away in the car. We didn't have anything out for the last hour. Liam had a great session, which I'm happy for him because he was waiting for a fish for a long time and then two came at once. Well, obviously he had the smaller one to start off with, but he had two decent fish, common and a mirror. What more could you want? So it was his day to day. But yeah, I think the next trip is going to be Big A's, which we've been super excited about. We've been waiting to get on there for many weeks now. And we both feel confident enough now to go and hit a lake like that. So I know that from, then, from now until then, we're going to be talking about rigs, bait, all sorts of stuff. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So... If you do want to see that, like I said before, please leave a like and subscribe um, so you don't miss that. There may be one more video before the Big Haze video. I'm not sure. I'm, I don't know whether I'm going to get head out before that. It's in a couple of weeks, so maybe, maybe. I don't know. But as always, thank you for watching this one, guys. <sighs> what a day. Great day on Emberley. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.